Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omni Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing University of Hyderabad MSc Entrance Examination question paper for the subject Plant Biology and Biotechnology I will be discussing only the biology part they have asked some chemistry questions also which I have not attempted so this was conducted in the year 2015 so coming to the first question which of the amino acids oxidative reductive state determines a protein migration on SDS page? So SDS uh, breaks only cysteine, uh, uh, sorry, disulfide bridges. Okay. So they have asked which amino acids oxidative reductive state determine protein migration on SDS page. So when you have cysteine in your protein, the SDS will react with it and it will break the disulfide bridges. So cysteine amino acid group is the only amino acid capable of forming disulfide bond and they can do so with other cysteine groups. Then methionine cannot form disulfide bridges. So the answer will be option C that is cysteine. The first step in photosynthesis is so excitement of an electron of chlorophyll A by photon of light. So that is the first step in photosynthesis. Answer is option D. Then cork cambium give rise to cork cambium uh, give rise to uh, cork towards the outside and uh, secondary cortex towards the inside. That is option C. Apical dominance means. So apical dominance is suppression of growth of axillary buds by the presence of apical bud. So the answer is option B. One of the following common name does not match with the botanical name. Identify the mismatch. Abel Moscus esculentus, it is okra or lady's finger. Piper beetle is black pepper, ananas comosus is pineapple, physalis peruviana is gooseberry. It is philanthus embolica that is commonly known as gooseberry. Okay, it is not physalis peruviana. Then which of uh, which is not found in monocot example comb vascular bundle. So, cambium is not present in the monocot vascular bundle. Answer is option C. Identify the mismatch. Dracaena. Dracaena is uh, uh, belongs to Asparag Asparagaceae but formerly placed under Liliaceae. So, I cannot say that is wrong. Physalis is Solanaceae. Deris is Fabaceae and uh, Sida is not Asteraceae, it is Malvaceae. So the answer is option D, that is Siddha, is belonging to Asteraceae. So coming to the next question, it match the following. Uh, so Hydathodes. Hydathodes are water stomata, answer is L3. Then comes Xylem. Xylem is for uh, Hydro, answer is M4. Uh, ray parenchyma. Ray parenchyma is xylem rays. N2. And leptome is phloem. O1. So answer is option A. That is L3, M4, uh, N2 and O1. In maize, carbon dioxide is fixed first by. So phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase. Why? Because maize is a C4 uh, plant and it is having C4 carbon fixation. Then which of the following... Um, list represent bond in bonding interaction in their general order of strength on a per bond basis from the lowest to the highest. So out of the given options covalent bond are the strongest and hydrogen bonds are the weakest. So first should be hydrogen bond. Then it must be the First should be hydrogen bonds, then it must be um, hydrophobic, that is uh, they are weaker and then comes ionic. The ionic are less strong whereas covalent bonds are the strongest.
then next one the steps involved in gene cloning and expression are given below the correct sequence of steps involved is so the steps are insertion of isolated gene to the vector introduction of recombinant vector to the host isolation of uh, desired gene extraction of recombinant gene product expression of recombinant gene product the correct sequence of steps is so the correct sequence is first is the isolation of the desired gene then comes insertion of isolated gene to the vector then comes introduction of recombinant vector into the host and then comes expression of recombinant gene in the host and then extraction of recombinant gene product so the answer is option c that is 3 1 2 5 and 4 option c then which of the following best describes the complete sequence of steps occurring during every cycle of polymerase chain reaction so the primers hybridize to the target dna the pcr mixture is heated to a high temperature to denature the double stranded target dna fresh dna polymerase is added and dna polymerase extend the primer to make copies of the target dna so the first one that is the pcr mixture is heated to a high temperature to denature the double stranded dna so that's uh, that is the first step that is two then comes the primers hybridize to the target dna two is two after that one and uh, four that is dna polymerase extends the primers to make a copy of the target dna so the answer is option c that is 2 1 and 4 fresh dna polymerase is added is not correct it is not added during every cycle of the pcr you once and for all add tag polymerase tag polymerase is heat resistant and that is the dna polymerase that extends the primers to make copy of the target dna in the case of a pcr so the answer is c that is 2 1 and 4 then next one chromosomes primarily consist of dna and proteins these proteins are of two major classes called histones and non histone chromosomal protein histone proteins are rich in which amino acids so they have made a big question for a small where you have to answer only a very less portion of the question that is histone proteins are rich in which amino acid so histone proteins are rich in lysine and arginine so answer is option a then genes located on the y chromosome in humans and transmitted from father to son are known as they are known as holandric genes answer is option b how does carbon 14 differ from carbon 12 now carbon 12 has got 6 neutrons while carbon 14 has got 8 neutrons so the answer is option a that is carbon 14 has more neutrons answer is option a so coming to the next question match the organism listed in the left panel with the fermentation product listed in the right panel and tick appropriate answer in the parenthesis to generate a sequence and link it to one of the options so we have to just similar to match the following but with a slight difference so ethanol ethanol is for saccharomyces so you have to put two here so first is two then butyric acid butyric acid is uh, clostridium so 4 so 2 4 then lactic acid lactic acid is 1 that is lactobacillus propionic acid is propiony bacterium so 3 so the uh, sequence is 2 4 1 and 3 answer is option c palmella stage is found in which of the following alga so it is found in the case of chlamydomonas answer is option d escherichia coli belong to the class it belong to the class gamma proteobacteria answer is option c those viruses which infect uh, blue green algae are known as they are known as cyanophages answer is option a an unusual infectious agent composed of protein in misfolded form is known as so it is called as a prion 
Prions are a class of special class of proteins that can exist in two forms that is normal and misfolded form. Misfolded prion can act as infectious agent uh, and has been linked to diseases such as uh, Crudefeld Jacob disease and bovine spongiform encephalopathy. So an unusual infectious agent composed of protein in misfolded form is known as a prion. Answer is option A. Chlorella is an infection of small cholera is an infection. Sorry, okay. Ch cholera is an infection of small intestine caused by vibrio cholerae. What is this vibrio cholerae and what type of shape it has? So vibrio cholerae is a bacterium and it has a comma shape. So answer is option A. So coming to the next question, a bacterium having a doubling time of twenty minutes. Fills a cylindrical vessel completely in 4 hours. How much time will it take to fill half of the vessel? So I have written the answer but it is not written in order but I will explain it in order. I am sorry for the mistake. So 4 hours is uh, 4 into 60 minutes that is 240 minutes. Now in 240 minutes it will completely fill the vessel. So by the just previous to 240 minutes that 20 minutes will be remaining there. So that in that 20 minutes the population will double and fill the tank. So that will be 240 minus 20 that is 220 minutes is required for the tank to be half full. I hope you understood. So 4 hours is 240 minutes. Okay. And 240 minutes it will take to completely fill the vessel. And the dying time of this bacterium is 20 minutes. So by uh, 240 minus 20 minutes, that is 220th minute, it will be half full. Because by next 20 minutes, it is going to be fully filled. So the time it will take to fill half the vessel will be 220 minutes. So answer option B, that is 220 minutes. Then, phloem of uh, gymnosperm differs from angiosperm in having a parenchyma having no companion cell having no sieve tubes having no sclerenchyma so the answer is option b that is having no companion cell then next one insect pollinated flowers usually possess dry pollen with smooth surface sticky pollen with rough surface large quantities of pollen brightly colored pollen so Insect pollinated flowers possess sticky pollen with rough surface. Answer is option B. Which of the following is a natural cytokinin? So, zeatin is a natural cytokinin. Answer is option A. Vascular cambium is an example of, it is an example of lateral meristem. Answer is option C. Then, plant group with largest ovule, largest tree and largest gametes. So it is gymnosperm that is the plant uh, group with largest ovule tree and gamete that is gymnosperm answer is option C. Fungi often colonize lesions due to other causes. Which of the following is least likely to be present as colonizer? So out of this porothrix will not form colonies answer is option B. Aspergillosis is recognized in tissue by the presence of so it is recognized in the tissue by the presence of septate hyphae that is option C. All population of all the species occupying a particular place are called. So that is called as a community. Answer is option D. So all the population of all the species occupying a particular place is called as a community. Next one. To which kingdom do all the eukaryotic single celled organism belong? So eukaryotic and single celled organism they belong to kingdom protista. Answer is option D. Turmeric belong to family. So it belong to the family Zingiberaceae. How do millets differ from major cereals? So millets are smaller, rounded and coarse. Answer is option A. Which of the uh, among the following heavy metals are not plant nutrients? So out of this Lead, cadmium and mercury are not plant nutrients that is P, B, C, D and H, G. The next one. 
Nastic movements differ from trophic movements in being. So, nastic movements are non-directional with respect to the stimulus. So, option B is the answer. Then, which is the most appropriate reason for storing green colored apples at low temperature? So, when green colored apples are stored in low, lower temperature, the cellular process in the apples get reduced for conserving energy and uh, due to which the rate of respiration is also reduced and the aging process of the apple is slowed down. So, here the answer is the rate of respiration is reduced. Answer is option C. One of the following is not a member of the family Solanaceae. So, out of these, Dracaena is not a member of the family Solanaceae. It belongs to family Asparagaceae. Then, the waxy substance associated with the wall of cork cells is. So, it is suberin that is associated with the wall of cork cells. Then, what is the function of the Golgi apparatus? So, Golgi apparatus, we will see, it controls the cell's activities and stores its DNA. That is not... It is the site of protein synthesis? No. It is the site of lipid synthesis? No. It labels proteins with a signal sequence which determines their final destination. That is correct. So that is the function of Golgi apparatus and I can give you one example for that. That Golgi apparatus adds mano 6 phosphate label to proteins destined for lysosomes. So answer is option D. What is primarily found in transfusion tissue? So, it is the tracheids that are found in transfusion tissue. Then, thick leathery exocarp, mesocarp and juicy pulpy endocarp with axile placentation is characteristic feature of. So, that is characteristic feature of Hesperidium. A fruit. So, answer is option B. So, coming to the next question. Two different strains of Drosophila, that is strain A and strain B, each has a recessive mutation that result in abnormally bright red eye color. Wild eye flies have brownish red eye color. When a homozygous strain A fly is crossed with a homozygous strain B fly, all the progeny have dominant wild type eye color. The most likely genetic information for the above result is now, in order for two different recessive strains to produce a dominant phenotype when they are crossed, then uh, they must have been recessive in different genes, not in the same gene. Had they been recessive in the same gene, then the offspring would also have been recessive. Since there are two different recessive genes in strain A and strain B, each masking the other, this is an example of epistasis. So, answer is option B, epistasis. Then, physiological serophyte is. So, physiological serophytes are plants which grow in salty soil. Although they have abundant amount of water due to the presence of high salt concentration, they cannot use it. So, answer is rhizophora. Answer is option A. Then, bryophytes are. Bryophytes are a tracheophytic amphibious cryptogams. So answer is option D. A tracheophytic. They don't have a trachea. They are amphibians of the plant kingdom and they are cryptogams also. So answer is option D. So coming to the next question. A plant with the genotype capital A small b cap, small a capital B is test cross. Test cross is crossed with the homozygous recessive parent. So this progeny that is this is the F1 progeny that is crossed with the homozygous recessive parent. If the two loci were 25 mu apart. Mu is map distance. What proportion of the progeny will be capital A small a capital B small b. So what is map unit. A map unit is defined as the distance between two linked gene pairs where one percent of the products of meiosis are recombinants. So, 25 map units is 25 percent frequency of recombination. 
so these are the gametes that are produced by this particular parent and one minute and these are the um, gametes produced by this particular parent so this particular parent produces four type of gametes two of which are recombinants now they have told that there is 25 percent frequency of recombination so these two combine together that is these two gametes that is recombinant progeny formed from recombinant gamete that is 25 percent so here it is 25 percent so each will be 12.5 percent now these are the parentals so the parentals will be 75 percent both combine together this and this parent together will be 100 minus 25 that is 75 percent and each will be 37.5 percent and 37.5 percent similarly here both of these combined is 25 percent and each will be 12.5 percent 12.5 percent now they have asked for the proportion of the progeny which is capital a small a capital b small b so it will be 12.5 percent this is the progeny okay that will be 12.5 percent so the answer is option A that is 12.5% then next one persisting embryonic tissue in the plant body is called so it is called as uh, meristem answer is option B that is meristematic then this floating plant in rice field serve as a biofertilizer so it is azola that is found in rice fields answer is option b peroxisomes are mainly concerned with so they are concerned with photorespiration answer is option c radiant energy is transformed into chemical energy in so radiant energy is transformed into chemical energy in chloroplast answer is option b then nodules producing organism in non leguminous plants are so uh, in no, it is so frankia that is a uh, non leguminous plant uh, sorry no, nodule producing organism in case of non leguminous plant so that is frankia the cotyledon of grass embryo is generally called it is called as cutellum answer is option c Seed germination found in mangroves is it is vivipari answer is option A trees have large number of trees have large number amount of cellulose answer is option B then the phenomenon where one allele masks the morphological expression of the other allele is known as it is called as dominance then cinnabar i is sex linked recessive characteristic in fruit fly if a female having cinnabar eyes is crossed with a wild type male, what percentage of the F1 females will have cinnabar eyes? So cinnabar is sex link recessive characteristic. So if a female having cinnabar eyes, so this is the uh, genotype of the female that is XXCBCB. So it is uh cinnabar i if 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 it is an X-linked recessive condition, if the female have to express the cinnabar eye condition that is uh, recessive then both the X chromosomes should carry the cinnabar I gene okay and it is crossed with wild type male so the male is quite normal or wild type that is X Y what percentage of the F1 males will be cinnabar eyes so the female will produce only one type of X gamete carrying the cinnabar because both are both X are having cinnabar eye gene and then uh, the male will produce two type of gamete that is x and y so if they are you will get half of the males showing uh, sorry they have asked for what percentage of f1 males will have cinnabar eyes so all the f1 males are going to have cinnabar eyes so the answer is option d that is 100 percent okay then identify the statement that is incorrect x linked characters are passed from father to son now that itself is wrong answer is option a then reciprocal cross produce different phenotypic ratio for x linked recessive genes then x linked genes are transferred from females to males 
excelling the recessive characters are more common in males so all the three that is b c d are correct whereas a is not correct then which of the following is not correctly matched uh, meristem culture virus free plants zygote embryo culture overcoming post fertilization barriers unfertilized ovule culture triploid production that is not correct unfertilized ovule does not give you a triploid then axillary bud culture micro propagation it is for haploid uh, production not for triploid production unfertilized ovule culture is for haploid production not for triploid production then which statement is not an assumption of hardy weinberg law so the allelic frequencies p and q are equal so that itself is not an assumption of hardy weinberg law because they are not equal but constant as per hardy weinberg law that is allele frequencies in a population will not change from generation to generation so that is not an assumption of hardy weinberg law the population is randomly mating the population is large natural selection has no effect so the answer is option a a baby is born with one extra copy of chromosome 21 that is trisomy of the chromosome 21 the baby is suffering from which syndrome so down syndrome is due to trisomy of chromosome 21 so the answer is option b then next one which of the following organism is suitable for ordered tetra and tetrad analysis so it is neurospora crassa that is suitable for ordered tetrad analysis because neurospora crassa produces cassi assi with eight spores which are arranged in an order after meiosis so answer is option a what is the original source of all variations in heritable traits so mutations are the original source of genetic variation a mutation is a permanent alteration to a dna sequence answer is option c then in young leaves the ratio of carotene and xanthophyll is so in young leaves xanthophyll is more re more required than carotene and the ratio is more or less 1 is to 2 so the answer is option a that is 1 is to 2 what is an adaptive trait so it is an any any trait that helps an organism survive and reproduce so answer is option c then anticodon is located on so anticodon is found on the trna answer is option c genetic code is given by it is given by nirenberg answer is option b which of the following is derived from sugar so from sugar vitamin uh, c is derived because most animals can synthesize vitamin c from glucose in the liver so which of the following is derived from sugar is vitamin c then dna replication is one of the most important cellular activity at what stage the replication of dna take place so during interphase of two mitotic cycle answer is option c the replication of uh, dna occurs during the s phase or the synthetic phase of the cell cycle before the cell enters the mitosis or meiosis so during the interphase of two mitotic cycle a replication take place then next one grigor mendel was very popular scientist in genetics which of the following plants he used for his experiments he used garden pea for his experiment so answer is option a when the active site of an enzyme is blocked it is called it is called as competitive inhibition because the presence of inhibitor that is competitive inhibitor decreases availability of the active site for the substrate then starch and glycogen both are polymers of alpha d glucose answer is option a then next one which of the following is the best evidence for template theory of enzyme action so the best evidence is the lock and key theory or template theory of enzyme action comes from the observation that compounds similar in structure to the substrate inhibit the reaction 
So answer is option A that is compound similar in structure to the substrate inhibit the reaction that is competitive uh, inhibitors they are compound similar in structure to the substrate and they will inhibit the reaction how by binding to the active site and not allowing the availability of active site for the substrate to bind. So the best evidence for template theory of enzyme mechanism the template theory or the lock and key theory of enzyme action. So that is option A is the correct answer. Next one. Can restriction enzyme produce cohesive or sticky ends? This means that certain restriction enzymes produce cohesive or sticky ends. This means that they make a staggered double stranded cut leaving ends with a few nucleotides of single stranded DNA protruding. Answer is option B. Which of the following is an epimeric pair? D-glucose and D-mannose. This is a usual question. Okay. They have asked so many times. Not only for uh, this uh, university but for other university also the question has been asked. So it is D-glucose and D-mannose. Then which of these statements about the com composition of membrane is generally true? The lipid composition of all membranes of eukaryotic cells is essentially the same. No. All biological membrane contain cholesterol. No. Free fatty acids are major component of all membranes. That is also not correct. The inner and outer membranes of mitochondria have different protein composition. Now that is correct. Option D is correct. Then next one. Which of the following amino acid is the most soluble in water at pH 7? So it is glutamate that is most soluble in, uh, in water. Whereas uh, leucine, leucine is incorrect because leucine is water insoluble amino acid. Then tryptophan is hydrophobic and tyrosine is a non-polar molecule. So the answer is option A that is glutamate. Then Nathan Smith Arbor were given Nobel Prize in 1971 for the discovery of one of the following in bacteria. So they discovered restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases. So answer is option B. Discoveries made by two microbiologists in the 19th century have formed the basis of today's understanding of how the bacteria help recycle vital elements between the soil and atmosphere. One of them was Martinus Bagerink. Answer is option C. The next one. The formation of acetyl coenzyme A from pyruvic acid is the result of its oxidative decarboxylation reaction. So answer is option D. So coming to the next question, one of the following is an essential amino acid for humans. So essential amino acids, they cannot be made by the human body and they have to be taken in through the food. So the nine essential amino acids are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine. So the answer here is option C that is threonine. Then, the precursor for fatty acid biosynthesis is. So, the precursor here is acetyl-CoA is the precursor for fatty acid biosynthesis. Then, which of the following enzymes is not part of glycolysis cycle? So, out of this, aconitase is not a part of the glycolysis cycle. It is a part of the citric acid cycle and it converts citrate into isocitrate. Then which of the following defines the role of EIF2? So e, uh, EIF2 is along eukaryotic initiation factor 2. So <clears throat> eukaryotic initiation factor binds met tRNA and deliver it to the 40S ribosomal subunit. So answer is option D. So during stationary phase of microbial uh, growth, the stationary phase in which the size of the population of bacteria remains constant 
and during the stationary phase the rate of bacterial cell growth is equal to the rate of bacterial cell death so the answer is option a that is balance between cell division and cell death occur so answer is option a then most of the microscopes used in microbiology labs have oil immersion objectives that help in observing bacteria at a higher magnification because oil helps in preserving the direction of light rays at the highest magnification so answer is option d match the discoveries made by the scientists listed in the left panel with the discoveries listed in the right panel and tick appropriate answer in the parenthesis to generate a sequence and link it to one of the options so reverse transcriptase is by baltimore so 2 then uh, phagocytosis is by uh, Met metkinoff 5 2 5 then fermentation is by louis pasteur that is 1 delberg and uh, luria okay that will be um, viral infection of bacteria and uh, theory of immunity will be elri okay so answer will be 2 5 1 3 and 4 option c then in bacterial staining process often a chemical solution is added to intensify the stain such a chemical is referred to as it is referred to as a mordant answer is option b spirochetes are group of bacteria that have unique structure and motility one of the best known spirochetes is trimponema pallidum the causal agent of syphilis the uniqueness of their motility could be due to so bundles of fibrils that arise beneath an outer sheet and spiral around the spirochete that is the answer that is option c role of mycorrhiza to increase the availability of this nutrient so it increases the availability of phosphorus to plants answer is option a then the group of organism which uses light as the energy source and carbon dioxide as the principal carbon sources it is a photoheterotroph photoheterotroph uh, organism that use light for energy and organic compounds as carbon source so the answer is photo okay sorry wait photoautotroph is the answer and photoheterotroph organism that use light for energy and organic compound as carbon source but photo autotroph they are organism that uses light as energy source and carbon dioxide as the principal carbon source so the answer is option d then pili represent they represent hair like appendages found on the surface of many bacteria answer is option c then the disease kala azar is characterized by enlargement of spleen irregular fever and anemia this is caused by which of the following microorganism it is caused by leishmania donovani answer is option c when viral genome is integrated into host dna this is known as so integration of viral dna result in permanent insertion of the viral genome into the host chromosomal dna referred to as provirus in the case of retroviruses or prophage in the case of prokaryotic viruses so the answer here is option d that is provirus the next one the characteristic common between cell wall of gram positive and gram negative bacteria is so gram positive bacteria are uh, have contain up to 90% peptidoglycan whereas gram negative bacteria have smaller amount of peptidoglycan and because of this the gram positive bacteria are easily susceptible to the action of lysozyme but whereas gram negative bacteria are uh, resistant to lysozyme then gram positive 
so they have uh, equally equal susceptibility to hydrolysis of lysozyme that is not correct then greater resistance to drying than vegetative cells so gram positive organism tend to be more resistant to drying due to their thicker cell wall okay so gram uh, common between back uh, so greater resistance to drying than vegetative cell is not a common feature between gram positive and gram negative bacteria then peptide cross links between polysaccharides so peptidoglycans are unique to prokaryotic organism and consist of Uh, glycan uh, backbone of muramic acid and glucosamine both n acetylated and peptide chains highly cross linked with bridges in gram positive bacteria or partially cross linked in the case of gram negative bacteria so peptide cross links between polysaccharides is also not a common uh, feature between Uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria then both gram positive and negative bacteria possess cell wall with peptidoglycans which confer the characteristic cell shape and provide the cell with mechanical protection so rigid activity of peptidoglycan is the correct answer then a disease that can be transmitted by an infectious agent from one indiv individual to another is called it is called a communicable communicable disease answer is option c epidemic is a disease that affects a large number of people within a community population or region and pandemic is an epidemic that spread over multiple countries or continents sorry so the answer here is option c that is communicable